The article of the longest uh, married couple that was still alive. They had been married, not alive, married for 81 years. He was 101, she was 99. She was blind at 99, he was 101, so he would lead her around the house. Their children, who were, I don't know, 60, 70, whatever they were, were taking care of them. So, uh, they had 14 kids and those kids had kids, so they had like 60 some grandkids and everything. Huge family. And their children that took care of them, the one that took care of them said they're still madly in love. They've never not been madly in love since we've been kids. They've always been connected. He holds her hand every day. He leads her around now because she's blind. They cuddle on the couch. That's never stopped in that 81 years that we know of. And to me, that's amazing. When I heard that, I said, that is possible. Whenever I choose to get married, I want that level of connection. But, you know, I may not be with her for 81 years because I'm probably too old now. But the point is, I want that level of connection. And I saw that and I saw the pictures of them too. Like this, it was really cute. And I was just like, wow, that's fucking cool. That is possible, but it comes with work. It doesn't happen by chance. It, it comes with the surrendering of all the stories and allowing my natural masculine, her natural feminine to create a natural polarity, to constantly work towards something greater together, to constantly evolve and grow and not stagnate, get a beer and a TV and just quit. The more women test you and push those buttons and the better you handle it, the more they, they respect you and get attracted to you. What would it be like to be the master at the art of creating sexual tension with women? To be so good that you don't even think about it. You just do it because that's who you are.